Okay, so we've got our form that collects our responses that then puts it into an old sheet. We have now added some formulas and some comments, so we've got some uh, basis for some automatic feedback. Now this is where the magic comes in. We want to add in a script. In the old forms, or in the old sheets, sorry, in the old sheets we could put in a script that will do some automatic marking for us. This script is called Formule. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert, come down here to Script, and this will bring up the old script gallery. And if you just type in here form mule and go search, up comes this thing called formula, which is a work animal that does all the work for you. It's very cool. Just go install. And what this will do is this will install this script onto this sheet for you. So this formula does a whole lot of automatic um, work for us. So it'll add up things for us, it'll do things repeatedly, and it works really well. Now once you've done that, you'll see that your top menu bar will change and you'll have Formula there. So you have to run your initial installation. And what Formula does is say, okay, look, I want to run here, I want to be able to look at your sheet and I want to be able to be authorised to run. So if you go OK, use what you have there to um, send out a responses. So you can see it asks me to do all these things. You can read through them and you can check out the permissions at any time and you actually you know, cancel it if you don't want. So if I go Accept, that's good. So what this says is this, this script will now do a whole lot of work for me in the background automatically um, and it will attach itself to this file for me, which I think is really good. It works really nicely. So now it's there. It's all look good. Nothing looks different. Yeah, I've still got my little form mule sitting up here. So what I want to do, I want to go to form mule, run initial installation, and now it's going to look at my sheet and go, okay, what are we going to do? What do we need to do? And it's going to come up with a whole lot of questions that I have to answer. So once it's finished the script, I can then click on it again and go define my merge source settings. So what it's wants to do is it wants to look at what sheet it's going to grab the data out of to run. So it comes up with the first thing and it says, okay, which sheet do you want to go to? And you'll notice down the bottom of the page I have sheet 7 and form responses 1. I want to use form responses 1. So if I click on here, it comes to that. And then down here it says auto create a unique case number for each submission. I want to click on that because what I want it to do is to be able to automatically send out responses and then record um, the, the, the sessions and then also copy down my formulas for me. So we've done that, that's good. So you'll see what it's done is add another column over here called my case number. So that's the first thing. Now I want to do an email. So once it comes in, I want this to email out automatically to my students. So if I go to Formula, oh, I've done that. Whoops, there we go. Done my, done my settings, that's good. That's good, that's good, I've done that. Lovely, save. That's good. And now I've got this new menu here. I want to set up my email merge. So I set up my email merge, it's going to set up another sheet for me um, to merge my email. And what it's going to do is it's going to grab the information out of that sheet that I told it to start with and then create emails. Up here it says turn on email on merge feature and then trigger this feature on a form submit. So every time a new form comes in, it's going to send a trigger out and it's going to do this function for me. And it's going to make an email template from that. You can put another test thing in there if you want, but I, I never do that. And I go submit. So once again, this will now set up some uh, pretty cool code in the background. And what it's going to do for us is it's going to then make a new sheet, which is our email template. And you'll see that that's what's coming to. You've got all these things here that you can actually add in there. So the first one, we want to send this email to. And remember when we first set up our form, we had an email address. So you see down here, we have email. All you do is you copy and paste that into there. Very good. The subject is going to be um, form one results. I'll put demo there so I know it's my demo. Um, and then I can put in the, the information here. So notice that this is one big square. We want to have a whole lot of lines in it because it's an email. So you've got to do control and return which gives you a new line so it looks pretty cool. So I'll just show you how you do that. I'm going to start off with this person's first name. So if I go to cover it down there, come to here and put in their first name. I can put my little cursor there and go command return. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got this body which is going to be in the email and I'm just filling it in as I go. So I've got hi and I've grabbed the key from down here. Hi first name and with that first comment like you got 100% well done or you didn't get over the threshold. Then I've typed in here's some specific feedback for you 
and it's going to grab my feedback feedback one and then I do control and return and I'm going to come down here and grab feedback two so on every single line in here I'm going to have another piece of feedback for them so they'll get the feedback for each question as we go once again this is a bit tedious the first time we do it I'm just copying it and then coming back into here and then pasting it and then at the end I'm just going to do a little note say um, oh, I don't know just go cheers so that's the email it's going to say hi to the first name here's your comment here's some specific feedback and cheers so it will direct the students um, to do the quiz again you can actually put a line in there and say um, if you did not achieve So if you did not achieve the threshold, please do the quiz again. Cheers. And they can just do it over and over again. Each time they do it, they get this feedback. So it's pretty cool. Up the top here, it'll automatically go to whoever set it out. It will come back to that person. Um, and in here you can put a carbon copy as well. So that's, that's what we do. If we have multiple teachers, we'll put their names in here so it goes to that. So at the moment, this will then go straight to the kid and I don't want to see it. But if I wanted to see it, I'd put my, old, my own email in that. And every time it got, to, uh, got a response, I'd get an email back telling me what's going on. So for my classes, I, I enable that so I can see how they're travelling. And I'll just get some emails in. I'll put some filters on it and so that just comes into me and it's all good. So we have now got, if we go back to our form responses sheet, We've now got this thing here that now says there's an email status template, which is good. So it's going to come in, it's going to mark it, it's going to give it a case number, and it's going to send an email out. Then what we want it to do is to copy down formulas to each of the rows. So every time a new one comes in, to copy down the formulas and make sure it all runs, because otherwise it's only going to run once on this first line, because at the moment the first line is the only one that's got answers. So once again we come into Formula, we come into Advanced Options, and this takes a bit of time because it's got to look through the whole sheet and find out how many questions are there and those kind of things. And then it goes, copy down formulas on form submit. The first tab, copy down formulas on form submit. So we want to click on that. And what that'll do is say, okay, let's have a look at where there are formulas in this sheet. So it looks through, and it takes quite a bit of time to do this, it looks through, finds the questions and goes, these look like questions that have formulas. Now, do you want us to copy down? Now, this is a bit tedious, um, and I'm not quite sure why they do it this way, but it's okay. You can see that I've got formulas in here. So I'm just moving this little bar across here. So if I click on these ones here, it makes them all go darker. I'm just making sure that I've got everything that's got a formula on it, I've got ticked. And then I've got to come back and tick the boxes as well. So you've got to highlight the top and then tick the boxes at the bottom. Because sometimes you may not want to copy everything down, but I do because I like to look at it. And you can see that, that looks pretty good. Now I always, always copy this and have a look. And it says, yeah, they're the ones I want to copy. And they're the ones I want to paste the values of. And if I go save settings, it will now, when any... Um, new question sheet comes in it'll say oh there's a new question sheet I'll copy this formulas down I'll send an email out I'll mark it I'll give you comments and I'll send an email out to the student so it works really well and as you can see it doesn't look any different from what you've had before except it's got this formula thing sitting at the top so let's have a look at see let's have a look look and see how it goes in real time so I'm gonna go back to my form view my live form and I'm gonna fill this out as Test, test, and I use my um, my email account so I, <clears throat> so I can see that it's there. And I'm going to add up, I'm going to do this wrong. I need that one right, um, and then I'll just do that one there. If I go submit at the end, oop, it submits it. And if I jump across to look at my responses, you'll see what will happen in a tick is that my responses have been collated, in they come here and they're being marked you can see it's being marked automatically it's giving me a case number it's copied down the formulas and it's going to send out an email for me it's all looking good it's very good so email was sent to that see it's been sent to me there so if i now go check my email it'll be there let's go have a look at what the email looks like 
So I've jumped over onto my emails and you can see that I've got an email from myself and it's got high test, bad luck, you need to revise some of the sections, have another shot, here's some feedback, tells me the questions I didn't get right and then give me a nice little response at the end. So that email has come into me very quickly and you can see the response that the student gets, which is, is pretty handy. So that is um, how you do the automated workflow and gives you your feedback for your forms and shows you, gives your kids automatic feedback. It's a great way to do it. Now it does take a while to set up to start with. Once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again because you can copy the sheets and away you go.